In this video, we review the licensing requirements for Intune as of the day of recording. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over the licensing requirements for Intune. Before we start, please like and subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications of new content, subscribe to my weekly Azure newsletter, and check out my courses on Udemy.com including Windows 365, Azure Virtual Desktop, and hybrid identities with Azure AD. Links are below, and thank you channel members for your support. Back to it, I did something with the title of this video that I haven't done before. I added a date. That's because Microsoft licensing changes frequently, and if you're watching this in the future, it's possible some of the details have changed. Hopefully though, this video will give you a starting point no matter when you're watching it. That leads me to the second qualification for this video. I am not a licensing specialist, heaven forbid. I recommend working with a Microsoft licensing specialist before making any licensing purchases. Well, now that I've removed myself from any legal liability, let's talk about Intune licensing. And we'll start with the basics. Users need an Intune license. There are three different plans available with Intune. Plan 1, Plan 2, and the Intune Suite. Keep in mind that Plan 2 and the Suite are an add-on to Plan 1. If you need a Plan 2 or Suite feature, you need to buy Plan 1, then add Plan 2 or the Suite. The core endpoint management features are part of Plan 1. This is enough to cover the majority of use cases. Let's go over some of the other Intune features, and on the screen it shows which option has that feature. Intune Tunnel for mobile applications is a lightweight VPN solution for Android and iOS devices. Intune Management for Specialty Devices allows for configuration, management, and protection of special purpose devices like augmented reality devices, smart screens, or conference rooms. Remote Help is a secure cloud-based help desk to user connection service. It's part of the suite or can be added to Plan 1 for a fee. Intune Endpoint Privilege Management allows standard users to perform elevated actions when approved by the organization. This is an add-on to Plan 1 or part of the suite. Finally, we have Intune Advanced Analytics. This is part of the suite and will eventually be an add-on for Plan 1. Don't go out and buy your Intune licenses yet. Now that we know the Intune options, there is one other license we may need, Azure AD Premium. Azure AD Premium adds a couple of features that may be important to your implementation of Intune. First is auto-enrollment. This allows us to automatically enroll devices into Intune when they join Azure AD or hybrid Azure AD join. It also gives us fine-grained conditional access policies, enforcing MFA when using a personal device, for example. There are two options for Azure AD Premium, P1 and P2. I didn't see any indication that P2 is needed for any Intune features. Azure AD Premium P1 should be fine. Next, let's talk about bundles. Microsoft loves bundles when it comes to licensing, and if you're an enterprise customer using Microsoft 365 products, you may have all you need. I'll have this chart on my blog, the link is below. These are the bundles that support both Intune Plan 1 and Azure AD Premium. Microsoft 365 E5 and E3, Enterprise Mobility Plus Security E5 and E3, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, Microsoft 365 F1 and F3, and Microsoft 365 Government G5 and G3. If your organization has any of those plans, you're all set, at least as it pertains to Intune. If you're just getting started, you can opt in for a trial. Most bundles have a free trial available for 30 days or longer. Now that we know what licenses are required to use Intune, let's log into the Intune portal to view and assign a license. Here we are in the Intune Admin Center at intune.microsoft.com. Let's check on our license status. Go to Tenant Administration. In the Tenant Details tab, we can see the total licenses used and the total Intune licenses available. It looks like I have one available in this tenant. We can also see some other useful information like enrolled devices. And while we're here, let's go into Intune add-ons. Here we can see some of the add-ons, including the Intune P2 and the Intune Suite. Now, if we want to assign licenses to a specific user, we can go to Users, find the user, go to Licenses, Assignments, I'm going to select Enterprise Mobile Plus Security. That's a bundle. If we just had individual Intune licenses, we could select it here. But in this case, I'm using an Enterprise Mobility Plus Security bundle. 
we have the group of options that come with the bundle, we can deselect or select what we want to apply. I'll leave it set to default, click Save. And now our user is licensed. Let's go back to the user. We'll refresh. And there's the details. You can also assign licenses through Azure AD. And there's a dynamic membership option as well. So you don't have to assign each license one at a time. Now our user has an Intune license assigned. That is an overview of Intune licensing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.